There we go, that's better. Hello, Venti viewers. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome back to another video on our channel. So tonight we're gonna to be shooting with the Sony a7 IV. We're gonna be specifically doing bracketed shooting for a client that does big, huge signs here in Los Angeles. The one that they did tonight that we will be shooting is a very bright neon sign. So we're gonna be going over bracketed shooting, how and why you would use it, especially in this particular photo where we're gonna need it. So the company actually made my Venti View Studio sign that's here in the studio. So we're gonna go on location, we're gonna shoot the photos. I'm gonna show you the different settings for bracketed shooting and what it all means. And then we're gonna come back here in the studio, open up Lightroom, and I'll show you how to process them. So let's get going. Okay, so we are on location here. We have our subject, which is the, oh my. We have our subject here, which is the employees only sign. So that's what the sign company did. Now we have a couple options here. So if you notice here, if we expose for just the sign, then the rest of the image is kind of dark. You could edit this and bring up the shadows in the raw file later, but I don't know, I don't wanna risk it. So let's get our focus right here on the employees only. So I'm gonna adjust the image to be a good base image. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go down here to continuous bracketed. Now continuous bracketed will take the photos for me. It'll count down from five and just immediately take however many photos I want it to. So as you can see, we have a lot of options here. So we have 0.3 EV3. So what that means is 0.3 EV is 0.3 exposure value or 0.3 stops of light. And then the number three is number of images that it will take. So it'll take a base image and then it'll take one image at 0.3 stops of light brighter and one image at 0.3 stops of light darker. So I need a little bit more dynamic range than that. So as you can see, we have half a stop of light times five times nine. 0.7. So I'm gonna go all the way up here to one stop of light with an exposure value of five. So that means it's going to take five images at one full stop of light difference. And you can see that with this graph down here. So it's gonna take one base image and then it's gonna take one full brighter, two full brighter, one full darker, and two stops of full light darker. So let's talk about how we have the shot lined up. So I have my grid on the camera here, and I put the employees only sign right on the um, intersection here, because that's where the human eye is gonna be drawn. I might actually even zoom it in just a little bit more, maybe to crop out the stop sign right there. All right, we are in the blue hour. I'm gonna hit the camera button, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna count down from five, and it's gonna take our five images. So let's do that right now. And there's the countdown. There we go. So now we have our five images. So if we play that back, there's one, two, three, four, five different stops of light. So now we have our five images at these different exposures. So let's take it back to the studio and I'll show you guys how to process it and what it looks like. All right, we are back in the studio. Let's open up Lightroom and I'll show you how to put these bracketed photos together. So we have our five exposures here. And if we look, this is our base image. We have one dark, one dark, one light, one light. So we're gonna select all of these, hold down shift, and we're gonna hit control H. And it's gonna combine all these into one photo. Okay, so we have our five images merged into one. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna start with our presets. I'm gonna go something subtle on here. So I'm gonna choose landscape. And let's go with number six. So our sky is still a little bright, so I'm gonna bring that down a little bit by bringing the whites down. And I'm gonna warm the image up and bring the blues up as well, just to give it kind of that blue hour look. Bring up some texture and clarity. And one of my favorite features of Lightroom is it can automatically adjust the angling of the buildings in case anything is off. So this is what we started with, right? This is what we have. So this is essentially five stops of dynamic range that we have in this photo. So that way we have proper exposure for the sign and proper exposure for the rest of the image. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Pretty quick 
video for the Sony a7 IV and how to use the bracketed settings. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.